Becky Miller here. Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody out there doing today? I have got a project for you guys. A cute, simple project that you could do. It's a flip, okay? It's not a piece of furniture flip, but it's a decor flip. How many times have you been at your local thrift store, Goodwill, whatever you got in your, with you, and you find signs like this that are just outdated, right? So in this case, I got a set of them. This one is $4.99. I've already made one sign out of the other piece, but our job today is make this one beautiful, okay? So it, it was like overlooked and just needed some love. So we're gonna turn this sign today, repurpose it, and flip this piece of decor into a cute sunflower sign. Who out there loves sunflowers? All right, so I've got a really expensive plate, right? My artist palette today comes to you from a local dollar store where you can get all of several hundred for just a few dollars. So I love to keep these um, trays around when I'm working and when I'm painting. And now what I'm gonna do is open up um, a color right here. It's called Liberty Blue. This is our Jug Monkey Painter Chalky Style sticks to pretty much everything under the sun wood fake wood glass ceramics you name it right all that good stuff and so I am going to make a background right now for this part because this is right here do you see this down here this is where the sunflower is going to lay now I can mix my Liberty blue with white but this was honestly the very first light color that came to me it is my antique lace you see here antique lace and so what I know is that when you combine colors you get some really cool you'll get some really cool things going down, right? So in the back of my sunflower, let's do that first. I am going to use a little bit of both colors to give myself a really cool sky-like, sky-like background. Here we go, get that really cool thing, cool color going down. And what's really neat is that with our colors, you can totally blend them, right? And so I'm gonna do like from side to side, make it look like clouds. It's gonna be the background at the very end of the day, so I'm not really, all crazy about like OCD about my background. I just kind of want it to flow and you can see the, the variation. So you can see some white and some blues on here. I might just add a little bit more onto my plate here, get a little bit more of the white. Let's grab some off there. All right, that color is done. Let's add some red to create a beautiful border. Got a little bit left in my can here. I just might just go all the way in and grab it. All right, so a piece of chalk is gonna be your one of your greatest friends when you're making signs, okay? Sometimes when you just freehand stuff, it, you know, it can be like not where you want it to be. So if you take a piece of chalk, you can map out. It's always good to have a plan, right? So we're gonna map out the scene that we want on here. So this piece, this is why I love these pieces, right? You can turn these pieces into signs. You just have to basically create something that's gonna fit within the, the width and the eighth of it and to be able to pull it all together and to make it work. So watch me as I draw out what's it's gonna look like a sunflower, or at least I hope it's gonna look like a sunflower. Let's get to it. Okay, so the cool thing is, is, is when you do not seal or paint, you have a chalkboard on your hands, right? So if I wanted to, I could create these signs all day long just to be fun chalkboards and do messages on them. Kids love them, all that great stuff, sell them at vendor shows, in my shop. But today, what I'm gonna do is turn this into a, a fully created and finished picture. So, but the chalk stick helps me on that paint to be able to get a map. So can you see kind of like how it's gonna come together? And of course, it's just chalk, so it'll rub right off. But it gives me a good map, and now I can begin my painting process. So let's open up some sunshine yellow, because I don't know about you, but sunshine yellow is awesome. It's beautiful on the, uh, it's gonna be beautiful on a sunflower as well, and it's gonna be gorgeous against that blue. So yes, I am using the back of my 
um, the back of my paint brushes to stir this up. It's because I don't want to walk over there and get a stir stick, okay? So there you go. All right, you can cheat and you can do that. I love to use my painter's tarps. You can see they get, they get messy, but they're perfect for stuff like that because tarps just suck up and absorb all that stuff. And at the end of the day, I have a beautifully painted tarp, okay? So, easy peasy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. By the way, with the paintbrushes I love to use, if you wanna get a set for yourself as well and use the same ones I do, if you go over to junkmonkeypaint.com, you'll see a little tab that says Sonia's Favorite Things, and I have a link there um, to the brushes that I love to use for when I paint this sort of style work. So I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna put on that same plate with the white. So here's the deal. Like I don't wanna use a million one plates. I don't wanna use a million one colors. I love the fact that when I combine two colors, it creates a third color. So I'm gonna play that up and do that for my uh, leaves. And what it will do is, my leaves I should say, is it gives me like a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow. Makes it interesting, right? So that way they're not all plain yellow. I love a little bit of that blue showing through the background as well. I think that's really cool. So we're gonna do our leaves first. So I'm just adding a little second layer on some of them just to give them some extra texture, but also to make them pop a little bit more, right? So they just made that second layer of yellow over the top. It's just made some of them come really, really vibrant. And I love that. For me, I'm a messy, shabby painter. So that's just the style I love to do personally, but you can make these perfect if you want. For me, I'm gonna definitely want them to be looking like sunflowers, but done in a very whimsical sort of fashion. All right, let's add in a little bit for our, actually let's do, maybe we should do, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of the stems and the leaves down here. We've got the petals taken care of. I think I called them leaves before, you know what I mean. Petals, leaves, it's all good. So let's go ahead and stir our, this is our mermaid tail. I love it, it's a teal color, but it's a darker green teal. So, the cool thing is when you paint a decor, you don't have to be like, oh, but a really, if this was actually out in nature, this, these leaves will be more green. That's okay, do what you got, right? Do it, just make use of the colors. This, this is your whimsical painting. You can make it look however you want it. So grab the candy bar brown. And now what we're gonna do is, let's see here. We've got a little bit of the antique lace here. We're gonna pour out into the plate again. Just a little bit. All right. And now we've got our brown right here. Just a little bit. And let's put a little bit of black in as well. I'll put the black over here because I'll be making use of it later. Okay. All right, so that is the black. All right, let me just do a nice wipe there. Okay, so let's work on the centers. And so here is how I do the centers. We're gonna take our brush and we're gonna add a little bit of brown. Centers are, are in sunflowers are definitely darker, right? So I like to kind of like combine definitely blacks and browns and I may add a little bit of white just for, um, just to make it interesting in the center, okay? So definitely black and brown. And if you feel like it's too light for you, then just stick with the black and brown. So I'm putting that down there and I'm like, mm, I want it a little bit darker. Now basically I'm creating a center and you see how I'm just doing the swirl. Nothing crazy, just doing the swirl. But what will happen is when you combine the black and the brown, it makes it look like, you know, you can definitely see the center is a circle. And the center of a sunflower has seeds and it has rows of seeds. And so in a way, we're just kind of like creating our own rows of centers of seeds. I'm gonna go a little bit darker on that one so they match up. Let me tip that up so I can really see that. Oh yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? All right, so that black and brown is gonna set up right there, but what I love to do as well is add some highlights and add some darkening. All right, now what I'm gonna do is basically just trace over everything that I put down before. 
everything that I put down before and I'm not taking my time and I'm not trying to like, oh, it's got to like be just perfect. I think it's nice when you just let your hand free flow and let it happen, right? into it. Um, I'm going to do some edging in just a second as well. Let's not forget about the seeds that will be in the center. So I'm just going to use what's already on my plate. I try to make use of the colors that I already have to make this work. And now I'm just going to turn my um, paintbrush upside down and dot on some seeds for the center. You can These can be brown, these can be black, these can be a combination of colors, whatever makes you happy. Um, you can do something really funky too. You don't have to stick to the standard um, colors, right? You could have teal sunflowers if you wanted to. Love me some sunflowers. I remember there was a time when I had my kitchen painted in sunflowers in my very first kitchen. I totally had sunflower everything. I think it was the yellow and the happiness. It was everything about it. Um, and now... Let's go ahead and put a little bit of that out here. It would be really cool as well if I went and um, aged the frame and did some antiquing. That would be super cool. But I'm just going to be happy adding a little bit of black around the frame edges because I just don't want it. You know, your frame has all these different um, step downs to it. So let's show it off, right? Let's really, really frame this photo. And plus, we've got black in the photo, and for eye balance, we don't want it just to be in here. We want it to be like, you know, we want it to match up with the rest of the photo. right now. You guys know I love to use our Monkish Shun all natural wax. Beeswax is in here, some beautiful oils. And what it does is it really protects and preserves your piece. Could I go all over this piece? Yes. And I've been debating whether or not I want to do that. But honestly, I just might put it on my frame because what it will do is really just darken it and really make that uh, color look down at the very end of my can. Oh, I can tell you how many projects I've done with this can. Um, but what I'm going to do is just use it to go ahead and basically finish the frame. I could keep the center section looking really like matte and flat, which I really think would be cool because then I'll have my frame that pops out. You know what I mean? It'll be a really cool framed piece. So I might just do that. But just know that you can go over your piece as well in the center. But I'm debating right now, will I go over it? Will I not? These are the questions I ask myself. I'm going to add a little bit of an inlay of darkening right here as well around the edges and I think that will be it. I just want to make it look like, you know, dust would settle in the center of this and I want to make it pop, shabby pop. I'm just adding some final dots here just for some whimsy and some blank spaces right there to really fill it all out. And ta-da! We are done! What do you guys think? How easy was this? Yay! Another project done. I, if you do this project, I would love it if you guys would post it over on our Facebook page. It's a free group called Jeff Monkey Paint Projects. Go over there and show me what you've done. Thank you so much for joining me today as we knocked out another flip. There's more to come every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. We do our vlog uploads here. Hit the bell so you never miss another fun episode. Bye.